Here is a training video on our range of low voltage heat shrinkable zero halogen joint kits for LSOH armoured or non armoured cables. After reading the instruction sheet, allow an overlap on the cable before marking out the cores and removing the inner bedding. Remove any fillers. And position the under armour support ring. Not needed, of course, if the cable's not armoured. Bend back the armour wires. Remember to position the outer zero halogen adhesive lined shrink tube over the cable end and also the fire barrier protection tube. Now set the cores using table 1, figure 1, mark the cores and cut to the required length. Using the low voltage crimp ferrules as a guide, mark out the cores and remove the insulation. Remember to position the zero halogen connector insulation tube stand alongside of the joint. You may need to round the conductors in order to fit the ferrule. Alternatively, mechanical connectors may be used. Position the connector insulation tubes centrally over the ferrule and with a suitable heat source shrink from the centre to one end at a time. Now continue with the other cores. Now you can see the connectors are all positioned at the same point, but if you need to keep down the diameter of the overall joint, the user could stagger the connections over the joint cap. Now we apply the tin copper mesh from armour wires on one side to the armour wires on the other side and temporarily secure. Position the main copper earth strap or straps depending on the cable size and using the clamps provided tighten these up to give a firm earth point. Apply the low halogen EPR tape around the clamp buckle and any sharp points. Now abrade the outer cable jacket. This will help the adhesive in the outer zero halogen tube to adhere to the cable jacket. Now centrally position the tube and again starting at the centre 
fully recover the tube to one end at a time. The tube should be fully recovered and wrinkle free once completed. Now position the outer fire barrier tube so that it overlaps past the zero halogen tube beneath and utilising the constant force stainless steel springs secure into position. We also have fire resistant joints which are very similar but incorporate mica tape. The joint is now 